Hey guys, Shahid here again, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over rock keyholes, what they're about, and how to approach them. So here I have a couple rock keyhole questions, and listen guys, these things suck. What sets these objects apart from normal questions is their lack of deliberate and defined edges, as you can see here. Instead, these things are characteristically high in the number of irregular faces they have and the inconsistent angles of connections between adjacent faces. So in short, the geometry of these rock objects are as good as random, although sometimes they may present with symmetry. So to understand the approach to these types of questions, you gotta first understand why these questions exist. And I'll tell you, well the first is to suffocate your time, and the second is to give you heck and induce stress. So believe it or not, the best way to actually deal with these questions is to kind of not deal with them. You gotta learn to prioritize what's important and what can be solved with reasonable time and what can't. And rock keyholes fall into the second category. These things are just time vampires, guys. You can't fall into the trap. So without further ado, here's Pat Booster's approach to rock keyholes. All right, so step one, you got to recognize that you're on a raw keyhole question. Now, this isn't a hard step to do at all. In fact, you don't really have to do anything because it's hard not to know you're doing one of these. You know, the first time I ran into a raw keyhole question was actually the first time they were ever introduced. It was, I think, back in 2014. So I looked at it. I looked at the question for a few seconds. Then I looked around the room like you usually do when you come across a question on an exam that's clearly absurd and you're trying to make eye contact with one of your buddies. Except no one was really looking around so I was just like, what the heck, I can't waste my time on this. And I just picked something and I moved on. I didn't even think twice about it. And later that year I actually wrote the first ever blog post about raw keyholes and what they are all about. Before that no one really knew about them, but since then they've really increased in their frequency of showing up. Although sometimes you don't get any rocky hole questions on your PAT. I guess it all depends on your luck, but for the most part, you should expect to see at least one of these guys. Anyhow, let's get back to it. Step one, recognize you're on a rock keyhole question. Step two, scan the object for any apparent symmetry or hallmark features. Now, this isn't meant to be very in-depth. I don't want you guys getting into the nitty-gritty details of the object. If you can't see the symmetry or hallmark feature within the first few seconds of looking at it, you shouldn't bother. Just move on to step three. Okay, so, I mean, for this top question, the only thing that sticks out to me is um, maybe this triangular extension here. I can't really make sense of what's going on here, so I'll just leave that. And for the bottom one, um, I guess it's got a few extensions, two on top here, which they may actually overlap. Um, one here and then one here. Not really sure what's happening on this portion right here. Um, all right, so now that I've done that, we move on to step three, which is to use your gut and pick an educated answer based on what you found in step two. So for this top one, I mean, B, B to me looks obviously wrong. Not sure how you could get that. Uh, C, C looks too clean. Um, a lot of sharp edges here. A also looks a little too sharp. I, I'm not sure how you would get that. Um, so I honestly cross all those off. E again, if it's up between D and E, I think again, this is a little too sharp. I'm not sure if you get that. So for this question, I'd pick D. And uh, that would be it. So for this lower question, okay, well, okay, so choices A, C, and D, they all only have one extension showing, and okay, you see, you would actually get one extension with the front view because these two seem to overlap, so you would get just this extension. Although this is taller, this is a taller extension than this one, it looks like. This is a little bit shorter, this is taller. Um, so I think you would still see a height difference. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm actually going to cross these guys off, A, C, and E, simply because they only have one extension. Not sure if you could get that. Um, yeah, all right, and then, okay, so it's B and E. Okay, E has three extensions. 
definitely wouldn't get that. And so the only one, the only one left is B, and I guess it's right in the middle. It's got two extensions. The other ones had one. This had three. Okay, I feel pretty comfortable with that. So we're gonna leave it as uh, B. Okay, so let's just check the answers here. Okay, so the answer for this top guy is A, and uh, for the bottom one is B. Okay, so. I got the top one wrong and the bottom one right. That's that's good though. It really drives the point home. These questions are tough. You know, you're better off spending as little time as possible on them so you can save time for the questions that you can actually work through. So to sum it up guys, sum it up guys, think of rock keyholes as your crazy ex. You don't want to give them your time. They'll tempt you to try and work it out, but at the end of the day, they're just going to make your life miserable. So just move on. And I'll leave it at that, guys. Hopefully the video was helpful in teaching you how to finesse your way around these type of questions. Take care and see you next time.